Hi everyone. In today's training session, I would like to talk about how to set up the communications between Omron NX1P2 and CP1 LPLCs, and sharing the data in between both PLCs. As you might have know, NX1P2 comes with built-in Ethernet IP port, which also supports old legacy Fins Omron proprietary protocol, CP1L only got built-in Fins Ethernet protocol, so we take advantage of NX1P2 FIN support, and utilize FIN's Ethernet protocol to make the communications working easily. Let's get started. Ok, first thing first, let us take a look at how to set up and program NX1P2 PLC. In Sysmac Studio, we need to import the function block to Sysmac Studio, I will attach this function block and example program download link so you can download it from there. Once you import the function block to NX1P2, you can copy and paste the example code, and modify the IP address, then we can easily make the communications between NX1P2 and CP1 LPLCs working. For CP1L side settings. It is quite straightforward, just set up the IP address in the PLC settings, and set up the node number, please be aware that the node address must be the same as the PLC IP address last digit number. 
For the NX FINS function block, it is necessary to set up the PLC network number, so if you don't set it up, the default PLC network number is zero. Please note that it is necessary to cycle the power for CP1L PLC, and make the settings take effect. In the last step, we just test the communications between NX1P2 and CP1L. The NX1P2 IP address is 192.168.250.1. CP1L IP address is 192.168.250.100. Sending data from NX1P2 to CP1L will be located at the D memory area, starts from D1. Received data CP1L to NX1P2 will be located at register data array, from array word, so we can read the values from CP1L PLC freely.
Thanks for watching my videos. If you want to receive more useful training videos, please subscribe to my channel.